What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Red 89 here bringing in a more stripped down just chill video today. I wanted to go over my 10 favorite films to watch around the Halloween season. These aren't my favorite horror movies but these are my favorite films that I think embody the Halloween season, the fall season. They just they ooze that atmosphere. So like I said we're gonna get into this list and of course this is just my list. I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your list and we can have some healthy cinema debates and talk about our favorite films to watch around the Halloween season. Of course, there's going to be some usual suspects on this list, but also some other ones that are more nostalgia, near and dear to my heart because of like childhood connections and stuff like that. But let's get into this list. And this is going to be not in any particular order or anything, but one number one, we're going to start off with the Halloween franchise. I think Michael Myers is iconic, just perfect for that time of year. In my opinion, the two that I think embody that ooze that Halloween atmosphere the most is Halloween 3 Seas and the Witch, even though Michael Myers isn't in that one, and Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. I think those two films really embody that Halloween time and they have the most Halloween stuff going on inside the film besides just Michael killing people. Next up we have Evil Dead and man, Evil Dead, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell. This is one of those movies it's like you can just chill with your friends, your loved ones, you know, crack open a couple beers and just have a blast and laugh your asses off. Like Evil Dead is that perfect one where it's horror but has that nice little comedy element sprinkled in and man, like you would just, you're going to have a blast. Like I said, Evil Dead is one that has that cool like, you know, cabin in the woods feel all dark, just the way the smoky moon looks and like just the, the way it looks for its old school nature. It fits that perfect vibe, especially if you're going to watch it like midnight or like three in the morning or something like that. Next up, number three, we have a very underrated animated film, in my opinion, and that's Paranorman. I don't think this one gets talked about that much, and I really like Paranorman. It's got a lot of cool little horror classic stuff sprinkled in there, you know, with the mob from his town chasing the zombies, and then Norman having to sing this, or tell the story to the witch's spirit to put her to sleep, and like, just, just the curse, everything that's going on in this movie, it oozes Halloween atmosphere, like I said, it's got curses it's got a group of ragtag weird friends that have to team up you know and his sister and this girl the guy that she likes you know voiced by Casey Affleck like it's just funny it's got great voice actors really cool animation and it's a fun story and you'll have a blast with it next up we have trick or treat and this one has been become synonymous with the Halloween season Sam every year trick or treat just gets bigger and bigger the following grows and Sam is a staple at Spirit Halloween or Halloween City. You're always gonna see this guy everywhere and he's like the most iconic character from the film. This is an anthology film of different stories that take place in the same town and you kind of see how they intersect and w w get woven in together. Ah, oh, it's, it's a key, really good story, like just as good as Creepshow or even better. Next up, number five, we have one that was near and dear to my heart as a child, and that's going to be The Halloween Tree, narrated by Ray Bradbury. <clears throat> this actually has the voice acting of Leonard Nimoy in it too, the late, great Leonard Nimoy. He voices uh, Mount Shroud. This is a cool story about four friends trying to save their a friend's spirit on Halloween night, oh man, and you get to travel through Halloween from hundreds of years ago to the past, like there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in this, a lot of cool visuals, and that really old school 90s drawing that has those good imperfections, but you can tell someone took the time to actually draw this, that's why I really like it, you know, the style of it, it just, and like I said, this was a, a straight to, uh, to like TV movie, I believe, it, it was on ABC, I think, it's like an hour long, but, oh man, this one, like I said, is near and dear to my heart, and it was a classic as a kid when I grew up. It came out in 93, and like I always watch it whenever I get a chance. Next up, we have Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street. I really think any of the first three Nightmare on Elm Street, those are the best, best key ones that I would recommend checking out. But I think Nightmare on Elm Street really does fit that Halloween vibe, just because Freddy Krueger is such a creepy character you know the fact that he can attack you in your nightmares and like the first three films they got some crazy visuals like and this is kind of like another one like evil dead like if you want you can like pop open a couple beers and chill with your friends and you guys will have a blast laughing like i said crazy visuals get scared all that stuff this Nightmare on Elm Street is a cool key franchise. It's gonna offer you a lot. Number seven is gonna be Idle Hands, and this one is, oh man, this is like every kind of, that perfect stoner horror movie. You know, like these three stoner friends, we got a really good young cast in this, like Seth Green, Jessica Alba, even Vivica A. Fox is in this movie, so it's got a cool young cast, an amazing soundtrack, and I think it really captures that 
late 90s feel and it's very aware of itself and that's why I like it. It's kind of a very meta story and I don't know why people kind of sleep on this movie and they don't talk about it as much but I really do like this film because I think it captures that late 90s horror but it has awesome comedy in it as well. It even has homages to like Evil Dead and some other franchises that are like came before it so I think Idle Hands is an amazing film definitely worth checking out for this Halloween season. Next up we have one that I just discovered this year but oh man it really grew up my list like climbed my list and I was like dang this is gonna be a film I'm gonna check out every Halloween season for sure and that's Hellfest. Hellfest is this cool new slasher type story but it takes place at a haunt and these four friends I believe it's four or five friends and they're going around at a haunt and it's basically kind of like a theme park but you know people can scare you they can jump out and touch you there's clowns and zombies everywhere and stuff but the slasher in this one is really cool I like the way they treat the villain it's a very kind of low budget feeling horror film but it has all the right tropes and stuff going on in it and it knows what it is and I really do like that and it actually does take itself very seriously which is cool and the way it plays out I was hooked and by the end I'm like by the ending scene I was like damn this is going to be one I'm going to return to very often. Next up we have Poltergeist and Poltergeist is the one for me uh, before Exorcist like me I picked Poltergeist over Exorcist over Conjuring over those paranormal activity in terms of spiritual or demonic possession type movies poltergeist is my film i think this one is a classic like oh just the visuals in it that early you know it has that late 70s early 80s stuff going on just the great visuals there's an awesome cast in this movie and i like all the characters the mom the father the kids the psychics they bring in to help them you know get the daughter out of the dimension like oh man everything in this film I think is cool. The the horror effects with the tree, you know, when they pull the rope through the top room into the next room and they bridge the dimensions, like, oh man, it's just cool. <laughs> like everything about this movie, and like I said, Poltergeist for me is my like demonic possession or spiritual type movie. This is the one I will grab first to watch. Now we have last but not least, number 10, and this is going to be Night of the Demons. This came out, I believe, in 1988. This is an amazing film, very much Halloween style, oozes that Halloween atmosphere. It's about these small group of, they're not really necessarily friends, but they all know each other, this small group of friends kind of thing. And they're all dressed up, having this Halloween party at this haunted house called Hull House. And oh man, this house, you do not want to release the demon that lives down in this basement in this house, like for real. When it takes possession of this one girl and she becomes Angela, she becomes this demonic, like kind of just entity and like spreads it throughout the people you know as they die they come back to life as demons like oh man this film has some amazing graphics that late 80s vibe it's got some really good music especially the intro music for the credits in this movie oh, it's perfect they even did two movies after this and a remake the remake's not that good but I recommend checking out all the first three I think have something to offer for sure but Night of the Demons was one that was synonymous for me watching it over and over when I was a kid and like I said for the Halloween season it's perfect fits the vibe for sure so thanks for sticking around with me all that's my 10 films to watch I think the best 10 to watch during this Halloween season because they ooze that vibe so I recommend checking them out and for sure let me know in the comments section your list I would love to hear from all of you as I said this is just my list and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing because we're going to have some other spooky videos coming out before Halloween and hopefully I'll be checking out Halloween Kills soon so I'll have my review up for that non-spoiler in, in a few days after I go through the other Halloween films. I got two more to review and then on to Halloween Kills. Thanks for sticking around with me y'all. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.